about me. When you get challenged by someone who's a, a guy like a Jake Paul, does that piss you off? No, it doesn't. I don't no? Think, I think it's awesome. You think it's awesome? <laughs> yeah, I think it's <laughs> It's brave, it's bold of him, but it's kind of insulting. It's a circus, you know, all round. Jake Paul Circus. It's a circus. This man is a con man. He's a fake. It's a circus. They have a circus, I think. He's a clown. Jake Paul's a bully, don't forget. Is anyone tired of the circus act yet? Fight fans, welcome back. All right, legendary boxer Mike Tyson is getting back in the ring. He's 58 years old. <laughs> Showcases and circus acts in boxing have been part of the territory since its inception replacing the best versus best in favor of name value and popularity. If you knock Mike out, are you scared of how the public will like react to that? Yes. When you get challenged by someone who's a guy like a Jake Paul, does that piss you off? It's brave, it's bold of him, but it's kind of insulting. He's circus, you know, all around Jake Paul. Circus, a circus, this man is a con man. He's a fake circus of a circus. I think a clown, JP's bully, that fork. Is anyone tired of the circus act yet? Fight fans, welcome back. All right, legendary boxer Mike Tyson is getting back in the ring. He's 58 years old. No, it doesn't. I don't think I think it. You think it's awesome. Yes, showcases and circus acts and boxing have been part of the territory since its inception replacing the best versus best in favor of name value and popularity if you knock mike out are you scared of how the public will like react to that yes and mike tyson is not going to lose his reputation against some dude off the internet like you out there and beat him people are going to hate you or it's a career suicide no it's it's risky for mine and it will make jake paul the most hated man in boxing make no mistake about it that is the plan take one lights out power punching legend who transcended the sport mix in a contentious influencer designed to cause problems take paul the problem child do you think he's going to stick to a script and just like have a little move around have you not been paying attention to jake paul he is a ruthless who wants to iron out my tyson and stand over his lifeless body with his arm in the air as if he just code the real primate titan a ticking texas time bomb ready to explode as fans curiously debate what exactly is about to go down and that's the only thing i'm afraid of for jake is that you don't know what you're going to get out of it's iron mike tyson versus the problem child jake paul now it's a pro fight it's on my record and i'm going to put it down and if people are about it then watch soccer a big freaking deal because everyone is talking about it clearly because it's mike tyson and jake paul on netflix and those are the facts that makes it a big deal i would not get into the ring with him unless he had no pulse rigor mortis had set in i would not mess with mike tyson i don't care that he's 57 do not mess with mike tyson mike tyson was the baddest man on this place the most bro vicious and most ruthless champion has ever been and he still got that inside him whatever you want call it psycho rage or whatever it is using the solace of the ring to quell a mind that desperately needs occupying mike tyson returns and i said let's do it anything i'm afraid of i i i confronted almost four years after dancing with roy jones the former baddest man on the planet will be 58 come fight night and yet many still expect him to turn back the clock. You think Mike wins a bleed tie hits? Yeah, he got a chance. But if Tyson hit him with one of them, old them feel like it's 88. What Jeb Paul going to do if Tyson hits him in the body? I think just one of those hits anywhere in your body would hurt Mike Tyson at his age. He's still got the power. He's still got the speed. He's still got speed combination. He's still got that style. Still in shape. He can knock out Jake Paul. I just don't think he's ready for that. Mike Tyson is a train killer. He used to be. No, he has had a long fighting career. He has been knocked out by massive men like Lennox Lewis when you watch him against McBride, when you watch him against Danny Williams, when you watch him against Lennox Lewis, those shots just don't go away. You know he's gotten hit by some of the hardest hitters that ever walked planet Earth. He was totally done and shot in 200 like 1 and 2. What damage would that do to Mike Tyson? Do you know what I mean? I think you know even if Danny Williams beat Mike Tyson, you go what a sad day. This was and have we seen the end of Mike Tyson. Now a lot of people have just forgot about that. I'm sorry that I actually be the backup stop by Danny Williams and Kevin McBride, the sad figure of Tyson, sunk against the rope, shows that even though the myth remains the reality of the man who once destroyed Michael Spinks and around has long since melted away in the aftermath of the McBride fight had like a 35 minute private audience with with Mike after that fight I just don't have this in my gut anymore and I just um I wasn't really interested I wanted to finish out but he wasn't interested in me and going out and getting beat up anymore and all he did was pour his heart out about how I don't have it anymore I don't want to fight anymore I'm done with this I don't have it in me he's not suddenly better now 20 literally literally 2019 years later it will not be dangerous for Tyson because I mean Tyson's been up in the ring with you know monster 
answers, I'm just, I'm just concerned about, you know, Tyson's legacy. That's it. As you probably know, there are people who are concerned about the age gap. What do you say to those people who say this is too much 30 years, 57 years old? This isn't safe for Mike Tyson facing a man who has safely calculated every move. Tyson's task is to drag this young upstart into the unpredictable wild west of professional prize fighting. I love Mike Tyson. He's one of my favorite athletes of all time. I don't know. Let's let's see what he can go in there. And listen, will you please promise me you're going to kick this guy's ass and shut him up, please? Hey, I will do just that for you, yo. Why do you think he wanted it? Why would why would Mike want this sound like he ready to end my ass? There's nothing to lose for Tyson. If he wins, people are going to thank him. Thank you for ending this charade. They're going to say, I know music. This baby, I know what coming back could why. And when it was on, they wanted me gone. Boy, I'm here to stay after losing to vocal rival Tommy Fury and Saudi. Many thought Jake Paul would hang up the gloves and pursue safer pastimes. Tommy Fury, Tommy Fury might have to dig deep. Yeah, he certainly will. Everything was on the line for Tommy his whole life. Was on the line. He was going to get left and sawed. He was going to get disowned. I'm here to just say I lost like, and that's all that matters. Um, and what I do now moving forward is what matters instead. The Puerto Rican resident doubled down, rededicating himself to the craft while promoting the wider sport. Paul put together a string of music victories nine and one with six co. The Cleveland cruiser can clearly crack, but at what level? Even if he hasn't slept you, he knocked you down. He knocked Tommy down. He knocked Anderson down, he knocked Nate down, yeah, Nate Diaz lacked nuance and cohesion, while first round victims Andre August and Ryan Borland were boxers in name only then they make excuses for all of my opponents on Friday night before the fight, Nate Diaz is going to kick Jake Paul's ass if Nate takes it serious like a real fight, anybody do it be Nate, I think I look to see then, when I absolutely dominate him, it's oh man like Nate you know is an MMA fighter, he does Jew, I think all Jake Paul fights is the same as watching WWE yeah, that people were saying that first he's a novice and now they're saying he's going to kill Mike Tyson well which one is it it just seems like he could do no right possessing the crash traits for hype and perception like Tyson's old mentor turned nemesis Don King I'm a true attestation to the American dream Paul knows how to pick opponents and pitch fights to the public I think we can make more than 245 million dollars brother sign the contract big boy sign the contract he's just he's just um the biggest thing in boxing right now besides the heavyweights he's doing things that people had not done in the sport of boxing heavyweights and probably Alvar Red that's the only thing bigger than him in boxing none of those other guys are bigger than him the lightweights the welterweights the middleweight look like he just outclass him and he's getting better yeah he can find you have to admire it you have to admire what what Jake Paul has been able to achieve the amount of money this kid has generated no but more than that they got balls to never really do and do it in front of a bunch of people that takes balls. Since turning pro in 2020, Paul has garnered 46 valuable rounds of securing 67% knockouts. It's the distance bouts that will stand by him in the long run. There it is. I think he's trying to work his way up to fight him for a cruiserweight championship title. Whether you like him or not, he's taking this stuff to a whole new level. He's a bigger kid than you think he is because he's, he's 61,000. 200 okay doesn't matter those I got you but he's not small 4 and taller Paul's 5 and reach advantage is important against a man who made a career of burrowing inside and breaking people down turning pro a lifetime ago in 1985 Tyson's 88% co ratio was built against the very best the music will come down the diva this song will come on and Tyson will probably walk out with that cut off towel. And of course in that moment you will believe that you have been transported back to 1988 every time you say the name you you just become a kid again. It doesn't matter what prime of your life you're in when you're competing with a guy that when you were a little boy you had his picture on your wall and wanted to be like him. It's just say you're preparing for a fight. Do not say his name to yourself because every time you say Mike Tyson you whoop your own ass it just creates a psychological problem. Mike can't always punch but can he still take one and return? There's that old saying of you know power is the last thing to go. The last thing to go is the power it goes past it either never leaves you or it's like the last thing to go absolutely it is you know what's one of the first things to go speed and your chin and I have a feeling and that could be wrong here that Jay Jake's going to hurt him bad, you pun.